10,970 pounds, which is surprisingly light given its size. This is a Montana 321, or it could be a 320 MK, the only difference being the refrigerator that's present in it here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And uh, this is an interesting, but very cool, different kind of rear kitchen that I think is going to be really popular for like destination park use or people who are work campers where you're going to go somewhere you're going to set up shop for a long time because it has a nice little desk space which is something that's kind of been largely forgotten in the rv industry not a lot of rvs give you a dedicated desk space without that huge middle bunk room which this one doesn't have now i've always kind of referred to rear kitchens as good destination use trailers because when these slides are closed they come in and they kind of pinch that island and getting to anything significant in the kitchen quickly becomes a problem. So that's why, I mean, especially this one, and you'll see as we go through why I refer to that. I think that this is more of a destination use trailer rather than something that's a tower and goer. Although the weight category is not bad for a big fifth wheel if you are planning on towing and going. Now definitely keep in mind as we go that the one that we have in stock here could be different from uh, the one that you're seeing in this video. We do try to make things match up as much as possible, but on a popular brand like Montana, Sometimes we'll, uh, we'll have one come in that's uh, maybe even just different fabric tones, but just keep that in mind. So <clears throat> this is the lighter of the two fabric sets. Montana always offers a light and a dark, and that's pretty much as involved as it gets. Uh, everything else is going to be pretty consistent. Now, something I want to talk about, because I often forget to talk about it, and I'm trying to work it into my routine here, because I think it's a really important idea, and I can't believe how often I've forgotten to talk about it, is that your main air conditioner, on a Montana high country or big luxury Montana proper is not only 15,000 BTU, is not only whisper ducted because you don't see the square so you won't hear the air folks, but it also has a 16,500 BTU heat strip on it, which is very cool. So it's a, uh, a, a, a very nice feature for being able to get a, like that spring and fall time when you don't necessarily want to burn up all your propane, but you want to get some extra heat in the RV. Very good for doing that. You see the skylight above the kitchen for that extra ambient light and just a flood of light coming in from those maximum size windows in that uh, one of the two opposing six and a half foot tall slides. All the windows are also going to open for airflow. Now over here, Directly across from the entertainment center in a no neck wrecker position is a, a, a power theater recliner. And what one of the things I like about power recline uh, uh, seating is that it can give you the sweet spot for your feet where you can open it to like just right where it takes the pressure off your legs and improves that circulation. It's like your feet almost tingle a little bit because suddenly the blood starts flowing after a long day. Now, freestanding table in a uh, couples model like this is pretty much a given. But it's this thing back here that I wanted to take a second to talk about because this is a hard to find feature in today's market. And that is this handy little workstation, the little desk area that we have back here. And I love its location because for someone like me, like I go to bed way after my wife and kid. I'm always up after my wife and kid. It's unbelievably uncommon if that's not the case. So having a place back here to like have a laptop or a tablet going and you see the power outlets right where they need to be so I could be doing all of that work back here so that my work, my noise, my sounds aren't going to keep them awake. That's a thing I think is great. Now for like business contractors, people who are work camping, the little bonus desk space that we have back here I think is going to be one of your best friends. Now uh, there's good storage built right into that desk space with those triple drawers, but I want to start... Uh, talking about storage by looking at the kitchen island right here first. And this thing is like, it's all storage, nothing but storage, so help me God kind of situation. Uh, you've got five drawers built right into the island alone, these full plywood box extension drawers with great wastebasket space below. So you could even put a double wastebasket down there if you're so inclined. Now you've got a built-in wastebasket. So you really don't even need to put a wastebasket under the sink. You just could if you wanted to. There is also indirect lighting under this uh, this countertop uh, leave right here. Like if I put my hand under it, you can see the, the light kind of reflect off that a little better, which is going to be a perfect little night light for evening navigation. Now you can see in your kitchen, you have solid surface counters. This has a huge stainless double sink. And what's kind of cool here is uh, you've got two different size basins. The one on the right is a normal sink basin, but the one on the left is an extra large sink so that you kind of have a combination of that whole farmhouse thing and a traditional two basin sink uh, anytime you want. And you're also going to find 
nicer, better fixtures in here, like actual metallic stuff. That's what I call the wedding ring test, when you can kind of clink on stuff and hear the difference. You know it's a quality fixture versus just a silvery looking plastic component. Now from there, let's zip back over to that desk, because once again, whether you're going to use it for extended kitchen use or a junk drawer or anything like that, just, you'll always find something to do with drawers and countertops. So even if you don't care about this being a desk, if you just want extra counter space, man, so be it, knock it out. The other thing I thought about is for pet owners, this little area right here would be perfect little pet corner. You could put the little pet bed down there. They, especially dogs, dogs still have that cave wolf mentality where they love to sleep down and under things. That would be a perfect little pet corner while still maintaining great counter space. Now we have great storage all the way above that and above that huge refrigerator. Now I wanna talk about this fridge real quick because if you're a regular follower of my videos, you know that tr traditionally, I'm not usually a super fan of residential electric only refrigerators. There's a very good reason we specifically built this one this way. We really look at this RV, we looked at this and said, especially being a Montana, which is the number one selling brand to full timers, this is going to be an amazing full timers floor plan. Something that's going to be parked somewhere. You've got great kitchen storage, awesome entertainment, everything you look for, plus that desk space, you know? A lot of RVs don't have a good dedicated area for things like computer use, or even just a place to sit down and write some bills, you know? Well, this one gives you all of that. Since this is a model that I feel is going to be more dedicated to full-time park use, I think that this is the correct refrigerator selection. Additionally, along with the bigger bathroom, I think this is another uh, RV that uh, would be very good for leaving park somewhere. If you're looking for more towing and going, I think maybe something like a 305 RL Montana High Country, which is a little shorter, a little less weight, would be a better fit for you. The other thing with this, guys, is that in a Montana High Country, you can get a 12 cubic foot gas electric or an 18 cubic foot electric. And again, with us viewing this as more of a uh, more seasonal use or, or virtually permanent site unit, I think that this fridge complements this floor plan better. I'm not always of that belief, but I think that in this instance, it definitely is. But hey, you know what? Every time I have an idea, I could be wrong. <laughs> and there's no right or wrong, it's just preferences and choices and etc. So we got the skylight above with accent lighting above, and we've got that rain sensing max air vent fan above the kitchen cooking space there, so you can exhaust all kinds of heat. Now, uh, this does have convection microwave oven, which I believe in years past the High Country series lacked that while Big Montana had it. So that's just another thing where they're just kind of keying in on making everything exactly how most people are looking for it. And I love that huge viewing window right below that uh, microwave there. And in conjunction with that um, tempered glass stove cover, you've got really good prep space here. And notice we've got a nice little appliance outlet in the corner. They are very conscious about appliance outlets in the kitchens of these Montanas. And not an ounce of space gone to waste, full drawer even below the oven. And if you see countertop space, logically, there has to be storage below it, and that is, of course, the case here. Plus, you saw that six and a half foot pantry dedicated right into the super slide here uh, in your kitchen area. And I think we got it all covered in the kitchen. They've done well here, but hey, why not throw a little extra storage here in the uh, entertainment space with a power up down TV. If you want to drop that TV, there's an additional window behind it to give you more campsite viewing, more airflow, whatever you're looking for with an electric space heating fireplace below. Another thing in conjunction with the heat strip built into the air conditioner, you can do a very generous amount of heating. What is it? Nearly 22,000 BTUs of heat power in this RV with no propane required. That's a pretty rare find, and that's a really cool set of qualities to be able to find in a, uh, in a model. And again, the uh, theater seat right here faces directly over at the entertainment center so that you never have to wreck your neck. But yet, there's even more storage above that hide-a-bed sofa uh, that we're staring at right here. Now, what's nice is how they have shelves in that cabinet to really kind of double and maximize your total storage capacity. But what I really like here is the guest sleeping arrangement on this Montana for a couple reasons. First of all, when this rear facing sofa opens up, you notice that it does not cut off the RV. If you need to get down here in the morning, you need to get something cooking, you wanna just get to the coffee maker and get your blood pumping, you can. Plus, you do still maintain the use of the uh, rear seat in that cinema seat right there with those theater power recliners. And uh, I've, Personally, with my family, uh, I, I've kind of demonstrated and proven on a previous family camping trip in a Montana fifth wheel. Wife and I slept on the hide-a-bed. Our kiddo, who's eight years old, slept on the theater seat over here that was still available, and blam, 
We had a uh, couple's luxury RV that slept five people. Pretty darn nice. This is also something I think is pretty darn nice, and it's really frustrating to me how many RVs don't have it. It's just a simple, not flashy, not fancy, place to hang a darn jacket right when you walk in the door. Really, just one of those things that just, just irks me how many RVs fail to do that. Now, this has the uh, little melt-away bathroom door. So what's nice about this, it doesn't matter if you're coming from downstairs where I was at or if you're coming from the bedroom. The door just sort of always gets out of your way so that you can get in here. Now, they have an extended bathroom in here. This is the exact same bathroom as a 330RL or a 331RL Montana High Country here at Halen RV. Um, it is 43% larger than the common bathroom used in a fifth wheel of this size and category. So we've got our porcelain foot flush stool here, just an absurd amount of leg room. You can comfortably fit two people in here, and that's one of those nice things. Of course, I forgot to pick the shower head up, and that looks awful. Sorry about that. Whatever. If that's the worst thing I encountered today, I'm doing all right. But we have a seamless shower with corner seat. And by the way, if you're like, yeah, but I don't want to have to slide past the toilet to get in the shower, you don't have to. You know, that's just, that's in travel lock mode. But again, it's seamless, self-reinforced, and it's got an easy step in. Now, right next to it, and this is deceptively deep. This is one of the reasons I like to put these videos together. You don't realize there's really good linen storage in here. But what's really smart, I think, is that they didn't make the storage as deep as the shower. Because on the other side of this wall is that coat closet that we just looked at. So they split the difference to make it super functional in different rooms. Now, you can see here we've got the double lavatory, which is fancy pants talk for sinks. We have two adult size sinks, and I love how they mounted their sink hardware off in the corner so that you maintain maximum amount of countertop space in here. And these are nice, big, deep, adult hand size sinks with uh, wastebasket space possible for both, as well as full central drawer storage for each person. And not only do you have your own medicine cabinets and mirrors and everything, you even have this nice little split extra thing in the middle here. They just, they didn't let anything get wasted. They really did a heck of a job here. Once again, the door just kind of melts out of your way. Now up front, technically queen bed is standard in a Montana high country. That being said, you're going to be really hard pressed to find a dealer who has done anything other than what you're seeing here with a 70 by 80 king bed and a second 15,000 BTU air conditioner installed in this. Those are two optional pieces of equipment, but again, you're going to be really hard pressed to find a dealer who does not stock a Montana that way, and I think they'd be crazy to do it any other way myself. Um, because this is built with so many kings, they actually leave plenty of room around the bed to be able to walk, so that's something that they've done well in here, and I love that shiplap headboard they have just to kind of offset the color of it and everything, uh, you know, add a little shape and character. And this is a full, comfortable walk-in height bedroom. And even when I'm all, all the way up here, like it never gets shorter. The bedroom never tapers whatsoever in these Montanas, so that even if you're tall like me, it's always going to be comfortable. Now you've got that full front eight foot wide closet, but you also have that uh, stackable ready washer dryer closet in the corner. But before we take a look at that, although you're kind of looking at it now, I do want to point out the fact that we do have full under bed storage here. And I point that out because not every fifth wheel has it. Some fifth wheels will put all the mechanical aspects of the fifth wheel slide under the bed where you will lose that potential storage space. But in a Montana, you'll get maximum storage. Uh, bedroom TV is standard here. It's even on its own swing arm mount. Not that I think you even need it, but that's just Montana. They're always like, well, whatever, we're gonna do it regardless. And an extra tall dresser. So you've got the two drawers below, but you have like an extra layer here with those two drawers above. They made it a little bit bigger, and maybe it's little details like that that help make this the most popular brand for full timers. And it's been the number one selling luxury fifth wheel for like 17 straight years now. It's unbelievable. One of the tiny updates that came on this one uh, in uh, conjunction with the 20th anniversary of the Montana product, which you remember I just said this has been the number one selling thing in its class for 17 years, and this RV's only existed for 20. You want to talk about coming out swinging. It's, I mean, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> so uh, on big Montana, luxury Montana, 
they came out with this little awning power rail system. There's little lights, little fans, little doohickeys that you can attach to this, which are kind of neat. Um, but, you know, it's there if you want it. No big deal if you don't. It's just kind of an extra thing where because of Montana's buying power, they were able to add that onto these high countries at basically no cost. So the uh, you got a full painted nose cap, and that's one of the things that is nice about Keystone being the largest producer of uh, laminated RVs, especially fifth wheels. There's no one even else close compared to Keystone in total. They have their own paint shop. So when they do things, like they paint these nose caps, they can include that in their uh, three-year structural coverage. And that's one of the several areas in which uh, Keystone's three-year structural coverage actually does go a little bit further than what you typically find in the industry. Now, high country Montanas have electric slides and leveling versus big luxury Montana, which has hydraulic slides and leveling. So that is one of the difference between them. Though it is always going to be a six-point auto leveling system with programmable hitch height memory. Um, all Montanas are and have been zero degree rated since 2005 and counting. So various brands can say whatever they want about insulation, but the fact is Montana's been doing it longer than anybody else, you know, in this category successfully. Now you've got, you've already seen the, uh, or no, I'm sorry, you're going to see the other side of the pass through later. I sometimes record these segments out of order, pardon me. But um, over here, you have a fully enclosed docking center and what's also nice is a couple of the little detail factors here. So we have a side mount solar prep plug, and it is important to note that this also has roof mount solar prep, but over here, very simply, easily labeled uh, switches, hookups, etc. There's really no question as to what you want to do, and written in simple, easy to read, literally black and white words over here is like, okay, so you want to flush the black holding tank. Well, here's what you do. It's like five steps. And frankly, guys, one of those is read the instructions. I mean, it's like, it's not complicated. More motion sense lighting. And by the way, the pantry in the slide out is motion sense light. Um, you've got motion sense lighting over there. They just kind of, you know, this thing will always do what you need it to do where you need it to do it. Now, key TV, this is a different kind of thing. Instead of a signal antenna booster, Keystone has their own little proprietary thing here. We're basically it'll detect what's trying to come into the TV or what the TV is looking for and auto route signal accordingly. And then handy little uh, power disconnect over here. Now underbelly is enclosed, forced air heated, insulated, etc. Again, zero degree rated since 05 and counting. Bigger 16 inch radial tires. Little detail stuff too, like actually including a sewer hose caddy. I mean, you've got a huge pass through. You could easily have a tote dedicated to black tank hookup stuff, but now you don't have to. Now they made it so that you can keep your black stuff away from all of your other stuff, which I just, again, it's another one's really nice, smart features. Full walk-on roofing, of course, but walkable slide boxing as well. All windows will open for airflow. Um, the uh, rear hitch back here, as opposed to, in previous generations, they had a folding cargo rack. And some people felt maybe it was a little unwieldy or something like that. They felt like they had a hard time strapping bikes to it. So what Montana did is they swapped that out for a simple two inch receiver hitch so that if you do want to add a cargo tray, a bike rack, a whatever, it's there. And because that hitch is factory installed, it means it's also factory guaranteed. So you're not going to potentially avoid your factory warranty by just simply putting a bike rack on the back of this thing. Now, I'm at a funky angle here because I'm ducking under the fifth wheel next to us so you can see the whole thing in one shot. We're going to climb up that ladder in just a minute. One of the things I want to talk about, it's funny, our, our uh, fellow named Tyler who works here, who was checking in this trailer for quality's sake, he goes, these lights on the back of those Montanas, oh my gosh, they're so bright. It has reverse travel lighting. That's something that uh, Jayco started about a year and a half ago, and a lot of other brands are, especially Keystone, really now starting to jump into. So that if, especially if you add a uh, reverse travel camera back here, it gives you, <laughs> intelligently enough, reverse travel lighting, just like a vehicle, you know. Now our slides here. I mentioned how they're walkable, but I also want to point out the fact that we have a seal gripping, leak preventing slide wall here. We have, I can't even get my fingers on it, it's doing so good. Don't even know if you can see it, but there's double wiper seals plus an interior bulb seal. On the sides all the way in or out, there's always triple seals plus an interior rain gutter. God forbid water somehow gets past all three of those to shunt water away from everything. It's just those extra little things that they're doing here on the Montanas to make life simple and easy. Um, oh, also, speaking of simple and easy, not only do we have the really smexy uh, four-seater, you know, four-step, more-ride stable steps, we've got this anti-slam entry door, but 
they've also got the zero G system. So it doesn't fall on your head. It won't crush your kids. It won't crush your dog. It won't crush your self-esteem. I don't know, whatever else it could possibly crush. It won't do that here. It's just simple, easy, one hand operation. What's kind of cool here though, guys, is that uh, that extended upper deck also allows room for an extended awning. So this has a bigger awning than it, you know, maybe could have with a more traditional uh, bedroom bathroom arrangement. That that bigger bath is actually helping us here. Now, um, something I don't talk about enough on Montana's couple things actually is the fact that this door is not just wider; it's actually taller. They have six and a half foot residential height doors, along with being 30 inches wide. So it's not just wide, but it's also tall. So that big folks like me, you're not clocking your head when you're walking out of this thing. It's just nice, especially. Especially with Montana's being the number one brand for full-timing RVers, there's more people walking in and out of this thing more frequently. Um, now you've got full-length LED lighting, of course. You can tilt and lock the arms. Um, the uh, storage here, let's take a look at that. Uh, you've got the double slam latch, double magnet hold back, and then of course we have the big 12-inch to 10-inch drop beam frame here to give you that just enormous pass-through compartment. Now you saw that light kick on. We've also got motion activated lighting down here. You can hard turn it off, hard turn it on if you want to, but I like it in motion mode because it's kind of like the refrigerator light. It's always there when you need it, you know? It's like a, it's like a good friend when you're in jail. It'll be there when you need them. We're gonna move on. Um, so outside TV hookups here, <laughs> and uh, no carpeting in the uh, the lower deck of the passer is also nice. So that's not going to collect uh, moisture and become kind of uh, you know moldy or anything like that. There's also an outside grill hookup down here below that storage compartment. So if you do want to use this to transport a grill. Uh, you've got room to actually run a grill outside, as opposed to always being on the rear bumper. There's other reasons why that's there. Uh, they're just simply not present on this RV. Now this has such a, a clean, glossy sidewall. You can see that mirror-like reflectivity on it. And another thing I rarely talk about on these Montanas is the fact that they actually have CNC routed walls and windows. So. Um, your sidewalls there, anywhere that there's a cut for like the door, for a uh, uh, the uh, window or a vent or anything like that on the sidewall, it's actually cut with machine precision. So they've done everything they can to eliminate human error here. That's not common in the industry, even at Keystone. Only Montana's and uh, the Fusion and Impact toy haulers at Keystone benefit from that CNC routing. It's an extra level of uh, construction precision that they employ here that they can kind of just, they can manage because this is such a high volume, super popular brand. Now up here, there's fewer things that you can see, although you can see that they are really heavy handed with their sealants on these. But there's a couple things I, I always forget to talk about on Montana models, and that is that your main 15,000 BTU air conditioner also has a 16,500 BTU heat strip on it. And that's true on high countries and big Montanas. Now your optional bedroom air that we're looking at up there, that used to be a 13,500, and those are now also a 15,000 BTU. So again, we're getting a 30,000 BTU dual centralized air system. So if you're looking to breathe icicles, this is definitely a brand that's gonna get you there and get you close. And again, they are not shorthanded on their sealants. But another thing in relation to the air conditioner, something you can't see, is Keystone's uh, proprietary AC linked, uh, or duct linking system. So most air conditioner ducts that are running through the, uh, the, the ceiling here, or, you know, over which I am walking, they are just kind of heat taped together. And it works fine when they're brand new, but over time, think of it like a cereal box. If you just set a cereal box on the shelf over time, it's gonna start to sag in the middle. And as it sags, your air conditioner is going to get reduced airflow, and eventually you get down to the point where it doesn't work properly. Well, basically, what uh, Keystone's done is they've added these extra links to hook their AC ducting together so that where they link together where it's weakest, you have a, a, a strength and reinforcement method so that this thing in year 10 gets the same airflow as in year one. And those are the little keystone differences. The CNC routing, the uh, uh, heat stripping, the things that, it's not just what you can see, it's what you also don't see that'll separate this one from so many other brands. So whether it's, you know, new, used, otherwise, economy to excitement, hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything between. We do everything except hidden dealer fees at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.